there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Each of Skin. It is good to see you again. Thank you very much for watching. We are doing a new thing with our loot crates here. You might have seen it in one of my previous videos talking about it. We've got this kind of like test set up. Uh, the first few videos are obviously going to be a bit of an issue because I'm kind of figuring out exactly what's going on here. But as you can see, up over here is the uh, crates that I'm actually going to be opening today. It is a Firefly crate, I think, for the month of December. I uh, haven't received one for February yet. I don't know. I think this actually might be the one of the last ones I'm going to receive. So uh, I thought, right, I'll make sure to cover all the last ones, not just the typical loot crates, even though this is, says loot crate unboxing, but this is a Firefly cargo crate. One of the last ones of the first batch of the first year of the Firefly crates, where they did them twice a month for the last few while and kind of like released uh, characters. And they've essentially done series one. Series one is completed. Now they're going to do series two. And not series as in like in the show, but series as in like what characters they're going to release in that one year. Obviously, they end up doing a thing where they haven't released all the main cast in the first series to make sure that you stick around if you want to get more of those Qfig figures. Um, big shout out to Hawkster. Uh, did not realize that you work at Qfig. Did not know that. Uh, Hawk is one of the, my favorite webcomic artists for years. I used to read Apple Geeks constantly. I was like, it was on my main stage where Penny Arcade, Apple Geeks, and probably Mega Tokyo. <laughs> Mega Tokyo still got one in there. Um, stuff that I used to read all the time back in the day. And did not know that he was actually one of the creative directors for uh, Qfig. That actually means that molds and designs are a lot based on his artwork. I knew I knew I liked them for a reason. I knew I liked Qfig. So, um, yeah, let's get it. Beside the point, let's stop talking about Qfig because this is actually dumb QM. Oh, God. Did I make the mistake? This is QM. Is quantum mechanics and Qfig not the same thing? Oh, uh, still a shout out to Hawkster either way if I've got that completely wrong. So uh, if you haven't seen this before, you may notice that I'm pointing, reaching in this direction to get to the crate. But I actually is over here. That's a um, logistical issue of camera mechanics. We'll figure it out. But uh, if there's any other issues that you think you notice and think you want to make changes or you don't like or do like about this video, then make sure to put it in the comments below. Okay, let's go and jump into the Firefly crate. What is this one? Uh, where is this one? Bellerophon. This one is actually from... Oh, have I actually... I broke the seal on that one already. Sweet. Okay. So... Let's take a look. First thing we grab is the t-shirt. Okay, um, what is the t-shirt for this month? What is the t-shirt for this month? Oh, that's cool. Ah, the last year laser pistol. This makes sense for this theme of this month. But yeah, last year laser pistol. Check that shit out. Oh, hang on. No, this is the better side to be doing it on. I, I kind of have to keep making sure to check myself whenever I do side by side because this side's got a bit more space. But the last laser pistol, uh, the vintage pistol tried to be stolen by our Mrs. Reynolds and by Mal at the same time. And of course, ends up uh, causing them to have a kerfuffle of sorts. The uh, wonderful lady who is a con artist, of course. Yeah. I, I, I like her. I actually like oh, um, Keep calling her Mrs. Reynolds or our Mrs. Reynolds. Can't remember what her actually Saffron. Saffron is my one of my favorite characters in the Firefly series. Just something that I actually uh, she's just a she's a, a side character. She's like somebody showed up for an episode but came back in. He, she's his um the lady for Sherlock, or uh, I don't know. Uh, essentially, it, it, it's constant common foil. His Catwoman, I suppose, would this describe. Because she works in a summer career as to his actual true lady love. So, yep, this one is a saffron. Little damn hero. Little damn heroes look great. I can see Saffron sitting there up inside. But I love this figure for a particular reason. Because I noticed it whenever I first like, poked a, a look at it. All right, on the front side, Saffron being sexy as hell. She's absolutely fine. And Saffron, from a side angle, going like, oh, look at that. It's a good look. It's a good look for her. She looks fantastic on the side look. But she's holding the hidden side. <laughs> Bitch be holding the gun. She'll fuck you up. She fucked your shit up. <laughs> I actually like Saffron's uh, design. This is an amazing figure. I did not want it whenever I did not, I didn't know it existed, but the moment I knew it existed, I was going like, yeah, I'm kind of glad this was actually inside the main crates. So uh, she will be joining the rest of the crew in my little diorama that's come out so far. And uh, I, I won't actually have her flirting with Jane <laughs> or Wash, Jane or Wash, and hopefully Zoe standing with a shotgun threatening to kill her. So um, yeah, I, do, I don't have anything to cut this open at the moment and I'll be a bit of a pain to actually chase through. But you have seen the figures design basically here on the box. Uh, the build quality on these QM figs are great. Um, I love the expressions and the characters. They, they have that slight sense where they're uh, cartoonishly overdrawn, but that's expressing emotion in the character. Wash looks goofy as hell. Zoe looks intense. Jane is a bit dopey, but mm, threatening. It's like all the characters look good. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of the cast look like. But uh, Saffron looks sassy and sexy as hell. I like her. I like it a lot. I like that. I like it a lot. Uh, okay, jumping into the next thing that's here. 
Firefly uh, Serenity Metal Keychain. So QM Caliber. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a thing about keychains that if a keychain's object weighs too much, then it needs a thicker link on its chain because that's going to get like one, two, three tugs and then that is going to snap off at the ring. But um, this is actually a really nicely detailed little figure. I mean, it's essentially, a, it's a key fob. I mean, if you want a, a key fob of Serenity, then this is it. <laughs> it looks grand. Um, the last one I got was actually of a Batman figure, and I think it was a QM caliber as well. But it was a bat. It was the Batwing from the 1989 Batman movie, and it was uncomfortable because <laughs> I keep I do keep a wall chain. I still keep a key chain in my jeans, and uh, mostly for the fact that if anybody tries to rob me, they have to rob me, take me with them because that thing's not breaking in anytime soon. It's like an old chain link fence or chain proper chain link. Um, the figures, the actual like the Batman. That plane that was inside that, that was on that uh, keychain, was uncomfortable to use because it would dig into your pocket, dig into your leg, dig into your ass everywhere you sat down. So I abandoned and gave it to the girlfriend, and of course it broke again. Weight of it. A good metal key fob or key uh, chain ends up getting snapped off at some point just because it gets tugged, pulled. I mean, it, it goes it goes through the wars. But it, that's actually kind of nice. I like the boxing for it. It's a nice wee figure. It's a nice wee object. Firefly key fob. And then you can see it in the back. It looks pretty nice. Yeah, you think? I have to get an idea of where these angles are. But in fact, this one particular video, whenever I'm doing this, I don't have a reference shot for me to get for. Oh, hang on. I do actually have. Oh, 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 oh we have problems. We have problems everywhere. All right, we're going to have to start this one again. Never mind. Uh, consider this a small cut. I'm going to cut the video and cut it back in again because I didn't realize the camera had gone so weird in this. <laughs> Let's consider this part of the technical faults that we may be running into in these videos, but I'll be right back. And we're back. <laughs> so yeah, obviously this kind of like went weird on me for a little while. So maybe it's, maybe it's just a sign that I really shouldn't be using this camera that I'm using temporarily to get these tapes, but I, mean, I want to get these guys out to you, or get these tape boxes out to you because they're dated to the point now where they're not really um, new or important. So where was I? Yes, we were chatting about the wonderfulness of this keychain, which I obviously hadn't put into shot well enough because I couldn't tell where it was in shot. There's a keychain there. You hadn't seen it. But uh, of course I have a Qubits as well. Now I was a little bit disappointed because I saw the Qubits had gone from one of the crates and I didn't know the reason why, but then I they did give us out information that the Qubits were actually, like that season of Qubits was over and they were gonna be doing another batch of them. So this appears to still be the same range of Qubits because it's still got the same gene, still got the same watch, same kind of mal and whatever else. I got I got one as an extra gift from a friend of mine because they didn't want theirs, but it meant I got to see a character that I hadn't seen previously. And I hope it's still another character that I don't already have. Hey! Awesome! <laughs> oh man, that's cool. So, I'm making sure that that is Nara. Yeah, it is Nara. Ah, look at Nara, she's so cute. Little, little bubbly head. Bubbly little heady cuteness. There we go. Check that shit out. I actually like that figure. So, she's gonna be joining the other little cute figs. Um, she looked great because of the long hair and dress. I mean, she stands out from the other ones because they were all kind of like a lot Shorter cuts and very kind of like molded stuff. This is actually a nice design. They actually, the hair isn't really like a plate on top of her design. It's almost like it's a, the whole build is out around her head and hair. It makes her an actually fairly solid little figure. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I like, I do like these little cubits. They're, they're really nice dashboard figures. If you actually like do a wee, just throw a bit of a, a magnet on the underside or a little bit of gum, <laughs> gum, but then like a white tack or blue tack and bloop right on top of your uh, dashboard. No wee bobbly head, but hey, you can't have everything. But uh, yeah, I like that. She's going to join the rest of the crew as well. So that'd be, what well, who do I all have now of that? I have Wash, uh, Jane, and I washed Jane in the dock, I think. Washed Jane in the dock out of that batch. So, obviously, uh, because this is the end of the first season of them, I think if you wanted to get all of them, you need to actually go and buy individual crates or go and hunt them down on eBay. So, if anybody's looking for an NR, I have one. So, you can maybe try and bid for that. <laughs> I, mean, I prefer to keep all these things, but there, there's a reason why. There's a reason why eBay exists. People do buy it for that reason. So let's see what else is in here. Uh, of course, we have our pin for this month, which is Night Sweetie. Mwah! Of course, that was referencing the... Um, Poison or knockout that they use on everybody in the ship that gets kissed by 
Saffron. She then she actually floozies her way around on in our Mrs. Reynolds episode. We also have a sticker for Bellerophont. That's actually on the side of the crate as well. Uh, we have a flashcard set, which is the second flashcard set, which is just kind of a flashcard telling you about different planets. So there's Osiris, Bellerophon. That's actually the only two that are in there. Mugu wa wafu. Joka mwaji. Waji. Waji. Mungo wa wafu. My Chinese is awful. I really... I mean, one of those things where I actually... Like, I need to go and get a Babel fish kind of like style thing <laughs> so I could actually finally be able to speak all the languages in the world and be well communicated to all of you. Out of that, actually, speaking of like translation, um, if anybody's interested in doing uh, translations or subtitles for any of these videos, which <laughs> I do not recommend, I speak reasonably fast and not very clearly on a lot of occasions. So you may actually find it a little bit of a difficulty, but if you feel like doing it, you have the option to do so. These All these videos are actually open to public uh, Subtitles. Also, you can make me say ridiculous things as long as you market as being ridiculous things and don't just kind of like post it up and saying that it's actually real because I'm not going to be massively able to double check your work and I'll probably approve them. But uh, what's our last thing? We of course have a copy of this month's The Signal, which uh, which is weird. Um, normally they have a picture of the actor on the front of the signals. This one actually doesn't. Uh, enter the Yosaf Bridge contest. Remembering wrong. Oh no. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Damn it. I completely forgot about uh, Ron Glass's passing in November. Oh, man. That, that, actually, that dropped my mood quite a bit. Uh, that was... That's not pleasant. So, um, yeah. That's entertaining. So, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, Luke Kritz, um there's a photographs of previous people uh, remembering Ron Glass. A lot of people's kind of commentary. That's what... The, that's the reason why... Like, I mean, this was actually a saffron issue but it's like a remembrance issue that makes the reason why i can understand and uh show us your saffron contrast uh enter by february 28th one remedy sector will get a keely little damn heroes mini master oh but i already have one of those uh using your initials find out what your what your saffron backstory is act out or draw the backstory you choose so what is mine i am a reformed reaver <laughs> with who will steal your laser pistol right reformed reaver reformed reaver how do you be a reform reaver? You're, you, it, it's, it's, you, you don't really come back from that. It's whenever you look into space and just don't come back. Uh, incoming waves of messages have been sent out here. It's uh, essentially uh, uh, one of those uh, puzzles, essentially, to... Uh, what do you call it? You add libs. You just add bits to it, whatever. It says adjective name, city name, whatever else. Uh, what was inside this crate? So it was Q-bit mystery minis. Either it was Inara or River. So I was happy to get Inara. Actually, River, River time would be cool, but I like Inara. Also, <laughs> River has these really cute... Like, big ears that kind of stick out the sides. It's like adorable. Uh, exclusive Saffron Little Damn Heroes Mini Master. It looks damn good. A Firefly HD Replica Keychain and Sliding Gift Box. Exclusive Night Sweetie Label Bin. Exclusive Atlas of the Verse Flashcard Set 17 and... Well, number 17 and number 26. Great, don't give us the sequential ones. We have to build them all up to be able to put them into a box. Exclusive Lassiter Blueprint T-Shirt. Great. Exclusive Firefly Travel Sticker. And, of course, that was all that was inside the crate for this month. So yeah, uh, all the power in the verse cannot make me part with Saffron. I love her. I love her to bits. But uh, yeah, guys, the Firefly crates were good. Ron Glass, uh, great actor, amazing work as Shepard Book in Firefly, but also very cool in a lot of the roles he's ever played. Uh, uh, Christ, um, I don't want to embarrass myself for actually like calling out wrong movies, but uh, yeah. Sad news. That was, that, that, that was actually, that was kind of depressing before. That was one of those like, uh, why, 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 why coming up to Christmas of um, 2016. A lot of people consider that to be a year of a lot of lo big losses and um, Ron Glass is among them. So yeah, uh, I, I don't know if I have the, I don't, it's like, it's one of those things, how do you get upbeat energy at the end of a video like that? But uh, Firefly continues to continue, it continues on exactly as it has been. Uh, good shirts, nice interesting designs, uh, built within the world or actually references to the show. The key fobs, not a massive fan of, but that one's actually quite well made. It's nicely put together. The cubits, I think are adorable. The mini masters are on, are, they're really well put together. I like these, these damn good. Quantum mechanics is damn good. Um, I keep on saying, uh, Qubits, Qfig, but I'm making a mistake now. The QMX or QM is not Qfig. Am I wrong? Am I right? Is it, are they the same brand company? I'm going to be really embarrassed if I made that mistake. So, uh, Hawk, sorry <laughs> if it isn't you that actually works on these. But um, I thought it was you. 
Um, it might actually be the other Q figs that I actually have, which are the kind of like um, bobble figs that I actually have that I've picked up from other crates over like the last couple of years or last year. Actually, this one, that's the thing. These crates have only been going around for me for about a year. Uh, the only reason why these ones are still around because I think my year contract's nearly up with getting these ones to actually look at. So that's the reason why I'm still getting these bits and pieces to go through. Um, yeah. Can't really think of anything else to say, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've watched this all the way through to the end of the video, then of course you may want to actually hit the subscribe button. Sit and... No. No. It'll be sitting up here, I think. So hit the subscribe button up here to see other videos from the channel. And anytime you feel like, you can catch up on anything that gets released. And all around me, there'll be little boxes showing videos of uh, other stuff that's here on the channel that you can watch as well. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Can't stop the signal. <laughs>